Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today we're going to be doing how to make Pinterest pins that are going to be popular on Pinterest using Canva for digital download sellers. And it's funny, I was as I was thinking about doing this, selling digital downloads is the easiest thing because you have, um, like you don't have to fulfill them. You don't have to ship them out. You don't have to do any of that. But I feel like sometimes marketing the digital downloads is the hardest thing because you have to do more work on the front end in order to be able to market them. So today we're going to look at two different kinds of things. I would love to do three like I've been doing, but honestly, um, this is going to take a little while to explain. And I want to make sure that we cover it in full so that you guys know how to do it. So here is the, the embroidery machine, embroidery files machine. So functionally what that means is that um, somebody like Rudolph sells these little patterns that you can put into your embroidery machine and they're a digital download and you can, um, you know, have those be in your machine and they can make them, right? I thought that was super interesting. He emailed me last week. So as we go through, number one, the very first one is going to be that we see, and we already did, I'll leave a link to the video. We already did a video on how to find these, but we're going to do um, a couple of different things. So this one right here is just a plain one. So in Canva, you would go here and you would start typing Pinterest. And then I have already done, downloaded that picture from him. And so we're going to download this flower JPEG. And we're going to just pull this across to be our first one. Now, this doesn't, I mean, like it's slightly more um, tall than wide. But you would kind of think, oh, wouldn't we want to crop it? to be smaller, but no, you don't want to do that. You want it to be Pinterest size. So then we're going to say, we don't want to publish to Pinterest. We want to download this. So we're going to download this as a PNG and we're going to say download. So that's our very first one. Yeah, yes. Okay. Now looking at this, here's one that has all different kinds of little downloads. So let's go back to his store and let's grab this one. Save image as flower to save. And let's do one more. Let's see how many were on there. So she has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so seven. Here's one more. Save image as three. And this doesn't have to take very long. Go back, save image as four, go back. Okay, that's, okay, let's do this one and then let's call it a day. You get the idea, right? Save image as, and then we're going to do five. Okay, perfect. I want to have an odd number because even though we didn't get the seven, we don't want it to be like four up. We want it to be kind of an odd number. And then what we're going to do for this one is we're going to come to this. We already have that one. We're going to upload two. Okay, we're going to upload three. I'll upload the rest. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is, it's a teeny bit shorter than Pinterest size. But we're going to go, and he doesn't have his shop divided into sections. I would have a section for flowers. I would have a section for holiday. I would have a section for hearts, things like that. So if he had a section for flowers, when we make this Pinterest pin, so we have this one already, right? We're going to scoosh it down. One. We're going to pull this one in. Oh, we didn't want to replace it. We want to add to it. Boop. Oh, you know what we need to do? This is very exciting. You ready for this? This is going to be good. Over here, we have elements where we can see this all set up any which way we want. So we could have four across, we could have four up. All right, so we have four, we have six. I don't see it. There's a five. Yay, yes. Okay, so now we have five here. 
So now we're going to go back over to uploads, right? And now when we drag these over, they'll pop right into this picture area. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see if we can make them smaller. Sometimes they'll let us and sometimes they won't. They won't. So this isn't exactly the way this is, right? But it could be close enough. And if we decide, oh gosh, that just... That doesn't work for me. We could delete this, delete this, delete this. I'm in the way, sorry. So we've deleted that whole graphic, and now we could pull this, scooch it over to the side, pull the, this in, pull. We're trying to keep it from taking up the whole space. Let's see. There we go. Okay, and then we could come here. Right, one. Come on, let's catch this little corner of this. Yay, we got it. Two, three, and then what do we have left? We have this purple one. Can we get it down here? Nope, we don't want it to pop in. There we go, four. And what's our last one? And we got to be careful because those have a white background, so we have to make sure they don't overlap. Or if they overlap, so see how this one is overlapping this one and it's making it show up as a color? You could always say position backwards, but then that one's over. So now we want it positioned forwards, and we'll just be careful about overlapping that. And then we have one more, which is this guy. We don't want him to go in there, so we're going to try. Oh, perfect. Yay, us. Okay, this one's going to be a little bit harder because he has a bigger white space. So we have to get this as small as we can, maybe down here. All right. And then we're going to say download. So that's our second one. And then last but not least, we see that, um, on, like, this is it on a backpack or a tote bag. They have it on onesies. They have it on things like that. And you could also do like a background, a different background on a wood background, which would require Photoshop. But I'm trying to find you things that you could do just with Canva. Now, what you can do is you can do this and buy a mock-up. And this is in Big Stock. You can either get Big Stock Photo. You can get Dreams Time. You can get, there's all kinds of places you can find mock-ups. Um, and I'm going to download this because I have a subscription to this. And then we're going to come back to Canva. Okay. And I'm going to go home. And let's see, is it Pinterest size? Are these guys Pinterest size? These are Pinterest size. Where they're showing them. So we're going to type Pinterest again. Okay. And yes, you may have to pay for a markup. Oh, um... Creative Market has a lot of great ones. I'll put a little note here to leave the Creative Market link. If I was going to buy, because the reason I like them so much is on the mock-ups, they sell you sets of them, so you would get a whole bunch at the same time. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go and we're going to upload that image that we just did that's the mock-up. We're going to pull it in. We're going to stretch her out. Okay, and she's way cooler than we'll ever be. And then we can bring this image in, and because it has a white background, you should be able to make it look pretty, pretty good. Okay, now, it there is still a little bit of a line, so what you can do is you can adjust this with brightness. See how if you adjust the brightness of her? then all of a sudden that little white border goes away. Now, is this perfect? No, but it's definitely a way you can do it without having to be able to do Photoshop or another kind like that. And we're going to do the same thing for another kind of digital downloads, but that's a really neat trick for being able to do this kind of mock-up without having to know how to use Photoshop. So that's the embroidery one, and that is Rudolph Embroidery. Okay, now let's go on to a different kind of Pinterest. Let's get out of these, out of these. Okay, now we're going to do ones that are like my 
um, printable planner pages. And we want to real quick take a peek, but we'll already have done this. As I said, I have a whole video about how to search and find what kind of pins the digital people are looking for. So let's do this. So number one, um, okay. So this is a Pinterest size pin. And this is on like a monthly calendar. So they're mocking it up onto a um, different kind of binder, right? So I went to my, my big stock and I'm gonna re-download this now. We're gonna pull it into Canva and I'm gonna show you how to do it because now we're a little bit more advanced, right guys? Now we know how to do these kinds of things. And we're gonna say Pinterest. And we're gonna upload, we're gonna upload an image, and we're gonna upload this mock-up and put it over here. Okay. And we're gonna pull it out. Okay, so now we have a really cute background for our graphic. And then I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna upload Upload an image, and I'm going to go to my work. So I'm going to go to all my products, paperly products, and I'm going to say, let's see, a power of sales direct three. Uh, this one has a watermark, so I don't want to use that one. I would have to take a, oh, let's, let's do that. Let's take a screen capture so I can show you how to do everything. So what I would do was I would come to my Adobe, right? Power of three. Just looking for that file. So now I have my PDF file open and I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna say view, zoom, fit to height. Okay, and now I get to see that. I'm gonna do command shift four on a Mac. If you are on a PC, you can use a tool like Snagit or any one of those. So now I have a picture of that that I can put into my show. There it is. So we're going to upload that. Oops. Sorry. We got to get back into Canva. Okay. And we're going to upload an image. And it's on my desktop now. I'm going to take that screenshot. And we're going to drag it into, we don't want it to go into the, the thing. We want it to be a, off to the side. So we're going to have to finagle it a little bit. I think we can make it smaller. Nope. I'm glad that happened. So we're going to say, see the little button here? Undo. So I want to undo pasting that. Okay. I'm going to move this off to the side so there's kind of an empty space to bring it. There we go. Now it came in as just a little picture rather than filling the whole background, right? Okay, perfect. So now we're gonna come here, and this is not going to be perfect, but it's gonna be pretty, pretty good. Okay, so this fits here. We don't want it to really be underneath that, and we want it to, ro oh, cancel. We want it to rotate just a tiny bit. So let's see, can we rotate it a bit? Okay. Oh, down here. Oh, shoot. Okay, hang on. I'm going to scoot you down for a second. See underneath it, there's a little rotate button. We're going to do that because we need to rotate it a tiny bit. We could have rotated the other one, right? All right, that may be close enough. There's not like an in-between. See if we can rotate this one. I can't rotate that one. Nope. Okay, so that's going to have to do. And then again, this one looks a little funny because we need to brighten it so that it becomes really white. And you can see, and it's fine because it's supposed to be a piece of paper, right, on a clipboard. Now you could move this up if you wanted to. Now see, the problem with this is it doesn't go under the clipboard, but it could be okay, and you could do this. And then what you would do is you would say... Download, and for those of you who are perfectionists, this is gonna drive you insane. Um, but if you're using Canva and you're wanting to do something for free, you may want to do it this way. So if we show it, 
it's going to be good enough for Pinterest. Because think about people on Pinterest and how fast they are going by those pins, right? All we want to do is we want to be able to make it quick enough. There it is. So it still looks super cute. If you weren't being, and especially if we moved it down. Let's move it down because I think that gives us a fairer, you know, it doesn't look so hokey. So let's move this down. We're going to download that. We don't want to publish to Pinterest. We just want to download a PNG. Nice. Okay. This is definitely good enough to be on Pinterest, right? Like that is super cute. It's going to catch your eye. It's going to do all that. Okay, I had questioned whether I was going to do this to show you how it would work in um, Photoshop because I know a lot of you are intimidated by Photoshop or you don't have Photoshop, but I did want to show you how to make a mock-up in case you were using Photoshop, how I do it. So I make all my Pinterest ones because I want them to be a ratio of two wide by three high. So mine's going to be 600 by 900. And then I'm going to say File Place. And of course, I'm going to use my cool mock-up image that I got before. Right? And I'm going to transform it to fit in how I want. And the nice thing about using Photoshop, remember how hard it was to kind of tip that one? Well, it's super easy to tip here. And I love that little bowl. So I'll get myself out of your way. And I really like having the bowl in this over here. Maybe it does need a little tip back. I might have gotten a little aggressive, but I'm going to tip it back. Okay. And then I'm going to say File, Place Embedded. And I'm going to bring in my... Um, my file and we want to get it on this clipboard right okay and you can nudge it better okay so it's on the clipboard but i want it to look like it's underneath that um that clip right and I probably would cut it a little bit bigger. I might even make a new background. But I just want to show you real quick what you can do with Photoshop. So now all of a sudden I can say rasterize this. And I can say make this lighter so I can see through it, right? And then here I can come in. I'm not going to do it the whole way around because you'd go insane. I mean, it's... It's a teeny bit tedious, don't, don't get me wrong. But you could come around here. And take this off. And hit delete. Okay. And then when you make it 100% again, it's like a little trick. Then all of a sudden you can... Um, Make it look like it's underneath the uh, little bar for the thing. You can do a lot more with it. I could even, if I wanted to make the clipboard smaller, I could, um, I could pull the, I'll do this a lot. I'll cheat this a tiny bit. Not that, I don't want to do that. I will cheat this a tiny bit. Now, it'll look a little bit weird now because I just took that part out. But I'll cheat it a tiny bit. Kind of do that, and that way it's uh it's kind of cooler. It kind of looks more like it should on the the paper. So those are some of the things you can do with Photoshop. Now, if you are not um, proficient in Photoshop and it's going to take a long time, what I would suggest doing is having a mock-up done in Fiverr, and um, I will I will find you a link to people that that work in Fiverr that do the kinds of things where you would send them PDFs or you would send them JPEGs of all your files and then they would be able to make you those mock-ups. And the nice thing about that is, um, you know, you don't have to learn how to use Photoshop. I do think the Canva option, I was pleasantly surprised with how easy that was to use. So hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. I forgot. If you like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up. And if you like videos like this, 
Um, I'm going to be doing a bunch of Pinterest videos. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and you'll get to see more.